Hey guys. Today we're gonna make pico de gallo, or as I like to call it, de gallo. No big deal. All right, so we're gonna start with our tomatoes. And I like to use Roma. Um, they're not as juicy as like a beef steak or just a regular slicing tomato. I did wash my hands. So there is some controversy in the world about whether or not to remove the seeds from your tomatoes um, when making well, anything, but salsa in particular. Some people say it makes it too wet, but I kind of like that wetness. I'm gonna leave it in. Um, I might take them out on some if it looks like it's getting a little too juicy. All right, so we are done with uh, chopping up the Roma tomatoes. By the way, there's eight Roma tomatoes. So you can see I'm making apparently a ginormous batch of salsa. Um, so our next step is gonna be cutting this red onion. Uh, Walmart did not have the best selection today. So this onion looks like it's seen some shit. So that's cool. All right, so the easiest way to do this is to not cut yourself. Cut it in half. Set the garbage to the side. All right, and I'm gonna peel this. So now we're gonna clean the debris. And then I learned how to cut an onion like this from You Suck at Cooking, aptly named. We're kindred. This part is the worst. I hate this. Here we go. Oh, Billy. Did it. Oh, dear. Did it. One more. Nobody died. Nobody died. Nobody died. We did it. All right. Now we're going to cut. Then look, it's already diced already. It's magical. <laughs> I use purple onions because I like the taste better. But you can obviously use... Yellow onions, Vidalia, sweet onions, white, whatever you want to do. Um, but that's an awful lot of onions, so I'm just going to stop there. That piece is ginormous. I was too scared to cut all the way in. So now we do, don't do that. Now we do what's called chibity chop, which is just, you go ham, just chibity chop. Next step is cilantro. And cilantro used to be my favorite of all time, I'd use it for perfume even. I love the smell of cilantro. This one time we went to um, Brown County, Indiana, and they had this olive oil place that sold cilantro smelling olive oil. And this just in, cilantro olive oil smells like stink bugs. So, ruined. Um, I like using just the tops. It's wasteful, but it's fine. Uh, that way you don't get any of the stems because nobody wants seeds and stems in their salsa. Right now, I'm just smear burgers. All right, so chippity chippity chop like a professional and then add it to the mix. Gorgeous. All right, that stuff's done. Now, cilantro will stick to you forever. It's the glitter of the herb community. My next trick is most people use fresh jalapenos. I'm not that person. See, this says sliced tamed jalapeno peppers, medium heat. That's what mama likes. I'm kind of a wiener. Got that open on the first try though. Hey. So we're gonna get out some jalapenos. Jalapeno business. You just put them right on top of that because it's in there anyway. No need to wash it off. It's probably good. Then we can test for heat and do more. Okay. Now we're just gonna chop these like a professional would. We'll call this Julianne. My brother-in-law's from Acapulco and when he makes pico, he of course uses fresh jalapenos because he apparently doesn't have taste buds anymore and he can burn, he burned them off in infancy. It's cool. Um, so he uses the fresh ones and he doesn't even de-seed them and he makes the chunks. I'm not kidding. Like you see these are tiny, that's cilantro, tiny little pieces. He makes them bigger than a minute tomato chunks. So for us wieners, it's a little bit inedible. 
Next, we're gonna add a little bit of olive juice, not olive juice, I'm sorry, jalapeno. Jalapeno. All right, to get maximum juicification out of your limes, <laughs> roll it on the counter. It's gonna turn, I don't trust myself. Roll it with your palm. Okay. And then we're gonna cut in half. I don't see any seeds, I'm just gonna go for it and just squeeze with your left hand so it is weak. Become plow. The lime juice actually keeps it low sodium too because your taste buds are tricked by a citrus. Um, making them taste like, it's, like it has salt in it, but we're gonna add salt too, don't be a beard. Second half of all, all of what is wrong with me? Lime. Second half of the lime. This one was way better. That's what we're looking at. Let me give it a steer. I apologize. I did not grab a spoon. Sorry, I'm just making some noises. Oh, it's just so pretty. I'm making this today for tacos. I'm making for lunch. Low carb tacos. Isn't that pretty? All right, and then all you have to do is season to taste. So I know we're gonna need pepper. Really need to work out. Apparently I'm too weak for the pepper meal. Ain't no thing. I am doing salt. I know this is loose salt in here and not rock but they didn't have any Costco. So you do with what you uh, are given. Now is that spoon. Do a quick, check it out. Do a quick take taste test. Make sure to get some of the whole thing in there. Oh, two thumbs up. Two ugly thumbs up. <laughs> That is wonderful. I think it does need a little bit more spice. And uh, yeah, that's it. The recipe will be listed below. If you have any questions, please let us know. This is Teresa from Working Not to Five. Enjoy.